The conservative candidate in the Tiverton and Honiton by-election locked herself in a room as she awaited her fate in astonishing scenes overnight as Boris Johnson suffered yet another damaging hammer blow. The Prime Minister is coming under huge pressure after his Conservative Party lost the rural Devon constituency, with the Liberal Democrats overturning a huge 24,000 majority for the win and Wakefield surrendered to Labour. It is the latest major embarrassment for Boris Johnson with the contests, triggered by the resignation of several Tories, gave voters the chance to give their verdict against him. But in dramatic overnight scenes in the Tiverton and Honiton constituency, Conservative candidate Helen Herford reportedly barricaded herself in a dance studio in southern Devon. She's locked herself in a room. As reportedly astonishment tripped through the assembled press pack at the leisure centre. Conservative candidate Ms. Herford arrived at the Lord's Meadow Leisure Centre in credit and shortly before 3.30 a.m., bolting past the media towards a safe haven. Her team quickly directed her towards a dance studio next to the main counting hall, which had been set aside for media interviews with the candidates. For the next 25 minutes, nobody was allowed to go into the room as an increasing media scrum outside assembled until she made a dash for it with the result imminent. Ms. Hufford swerved several questions about her humiliating defeat the role of Mr. Johnson as she rushed next door to hear her fate confirmed. She had only been confirmed as the Tory candidate in the seat just under a month ago and despite resigning MP resigning after being caught watching porn on his phone in the Commons, there was a vast majority to defend. But Miss Herford largely shied away from media appearances, according to the Daily Telegraph, and when she did appear, she was dogged by questions about Mr Johnson and Partygate. She did issue some backing of the Prime Minister, but described the Downing Street parties as disappointing and said she wasn't impressed by the revelations. The Tory candidate had said in an interview, ultimately, I am here to represent Tiverton and Honiton. I don't want to go to Westminster and play party politics. No thank you. Speaking after the by-election result, winning Liberal Democrat candidate Richard Ford admitted to being shocked at the scale of the victory. He said, this result is absolutely staggering. We weren't expecting a win, let alone a win of this scale. I would say at the beginning of this week we could feel the momentum shifting, but actually this is part of a longer trend. Following the latest by-election disaster, Mr Johnson admitted losing the former Tory stronghold of Tiverton and Honiton to the Lib Dems as well as surrendering Wakefield to Labour was tough, but vowed to keep going and listen to voters. In further humiliation, Conservative Party co-chairman Oliver Dowden quit, saying he and Tory supporters are distressed and disappointed by recent events, and told the Prime Minister that someone must take responsibility.
Speaking 4,000 miles away in Rwanda, Mr. Johnson said, It's absolutely true we've had some tough by-election results, they've been, I think, a reflection of a lot of things, but we've got to recognize voters are going through a tough time at the moment. I think as a government I've got to listen to what people are saying, in particular to the difficulties people are facing over the cost of living, which I think for most people is the number one issue. We're now facing pressures on the cost of living, we're seeing spikes in fuel prices, energy costs, food costs, that's hitting people. We've got to recognize there is more we've got to do and we certainly will. We will keep going addressing the concerns of people until we get through this patch.